What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shirt. It's React, and, and we're back, back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today, we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us, and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. American time to me is a concept that I feel like we should all understand as black people. I don't know if it's about African people as in all races or black people that we just don't know the concept of time, we never show up on time. You see, African time is a phenomenon that adds hours. Now it adds hours to the person who says they're arriving and it subtracts hours from the person who sends out the invitation. If you're calling me to come at eight, I'm there at 10. Mm. And I'm still early at 10. That's, that's a gap. 8 no, to 10. No, sis. You need to arrive at 7.45. Now, even C <laughs> know that's even impossible for us. We try very hard. <laughs> and being on time is just like a, what happened? What? Where did we go wrong? It's just something in our brain, huh? I don't know. It's like nah. the universe just stopped the time and reversed it a little bit. And we just, we just never be on time. Nah, nah, no, no. When I'm by myself, I am always on time yeah but dion nah I, I, I as call, long as i have no i call him. you bluff i call you bluff <laughs> how I, I give it to the traffic Where? traffic i always account for traffic traffic i can't i can't go wrong with that you know what i'm saying he don't want to be by himself it's traffic you know what yeah. i'm saying i'm always late because of traffic right well we call it here we call it cp time colored people time y'all know we used to be called colored here before <laughs> african-american black american so we call it cp time uh, yeah. <laughs> you gonna wait for her you know how brides are they're allowed to be late right. do you know what's irritating <laughs> When you're waiting for the bride, and then the bride arrives, and you're just like, "Woo, hello, bride!" Like, uh, yo, what wedding is that? Yo. What do we mean when we say yo. we are five minutes away? Get a boy, man, boy. They like it in the bar. They decided what to wear. <laughs> they sit at home. They haven't even brushed their teeth, fam. They Golly. After five minutes, there will be an extra. Five minutes, but there's another five minutes underneath the five minutes, and then there's another five minutes before the five minutes. No. That is the initial. God, to dumb? No, oh, no, now, now, now. <sighs> Man, that's a tough one, bro. Five minutes away ain't five minutes away for us either, y'all. No. Even saying I'm down the street, and I'm, I'm not down the street. That's a shame. Yeah. No, that, I really do try to be respectful of people's time. Like if it's a guarantee, event, guarantee. Oh, I'm definitely gonna try my best to make it. My best. Mm -hmm. I may not make you know the reception, but I'm definitely gonna make the event. Yeah. Definitely. No, but honestly, as record it. As people, <laughs> <laughs> no, as people who produce events, like we we try our best to be respectful yeah. of other people's time. The business side of this. Truthfully, no yeah. fun and games. No. We're on time. We're handling business. Yeah. We know we're there an hour early because yeah. we have to handle stuff and get it done. Right, right. But if we just like meeting or we just like handling, you know, like exchanges or friend. things like yeah. that, we down the street, but we're not really down the street. We're probably putting gas still. He's speaking for himself, y'all. If she riding with me, she's with me. So she's. <laughs> and I'm calling she in frustrated. the same Look. boat. I'm calling frustrated. I'm so sorry. We on our way. We on our way. And look, Dion, you want a Snicker or a Dr. Pepper? <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, we're on the road, and I'm like, tell me in traffic. Child, listen. Tell you all that traffic is what happens to us it's, is the traffic. It's the Metroplex. Mm. <laughs> to dump or not to dump? To dump. Oh, oh. That is the question. Oh. Personally, I think it's easier to be dumped. Because if you're the dumper, you really have to come with five reasons, bro. Because, like, what if the person says no? That's why I just keep quiet. <laughs> Yo. Just wait. Look. <laughs> the subscriber you've dialed. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't watch you. M.I.A. for real. Doing the dumping. Doing the dumping because you know why it is that you're getting out of that relationship. You're getting dumped. It's like, you Yo, what is the meaning of this? Who are the biggest savages of Usually, whenever... One is doing the dumping, they go off and they happy. 
Right. They made right, a decision. Right. You know what I'm saying? Choices helps people move and thrive in life. Mm -hmm. But the one who didn't do the dumping has to sit back and watch this person be happy while that person tries to figure out where did that person go wrong. Right, because so, the one yeah. who did the dumping have already mourned the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> that's hard. Yeah. Usually that's a woman's in intuition. That's y'all thinking. The Women what? will break up with a guy mentally before they leave a guy oh, yeah. physically. And yeah. now she out there just living her best life. She's in a gym. Mm. She dressing different, showing mm. a little more skin. And he's ah. like, where were you then? Uh-oh. Eh. And then for a guy, he's just like, cut strings. He's mm. like, I'm done. Right. And then the girl's left in tears. Mm -mm. It depends. Broken. It depends on, on the reason. Some, Handkerchief be to some nose. Heartbreakers out here, okay? Man, it's crazy these days, bro. Some people have no regard for your feelings. Nah. Men will play you and they'll break your heart, but women, I feel like we really do it intensely. Like, it's well thought of and they will finish your heart. By the time they leave the relationship, they already up. set up. Like, new crib, new car, new man, <laughs> new body, new face, new job, new money, new everything. What did I just say? Like, what did I just say? Like, well, it's a new it's life. savage. <laughs> they show you I'm doing fine. In fact, better. Without you. What yeah. is the best way of getting over someone? Oh, Munya, Pez, go Munya. Munya, Pez, go Munya, Pez, go Munya. The best way to get over somebody else is get underneath somebody else. Yo. One come in <laughs> and they leave. You gotta get on top of another one. Uh, uh, uh. Or they on top of other one. But we're going to top of top with your wins. Climbing going on. Oh, no. South Africans all know what time it is. A month within a month of December. Mm. December. <laughs> Talk about it. December, kid. Yo, 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 yo. It's a lot of time. 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 That's when December starts. When the money comes in around the 16th, 18th, when you start drinking. Ha! Deep right. It's the biggest month to grieve and have the best time of your life and not think how much and just and just go off, you know what I'm saying? You need to have a wardrobe in your car and your boots because you might wake up somewhere else and come back like the next month. It starts on the 1st of December and it ends on the 1st of December. And you're back to square one. Yeah, and then 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 you're back to square one. Yeah, and every single day we look good the beat is done the nails are done the boys are gonna spend the money the uh -oh. girls have their own money like we're having a good time and then mm. uh oh hold mm. up wait a minute is this a continental thing because regardless of which country we are discussing in the video everybody talks about december yeah they do they actually do and i also heard one person say this and i think this is like so far like he said that you had 12 months to prepare for December. If yeah, you broke, yeah. don't come around asking for no bride, no drink, no nothing. <laughs> you seriously you have 12 months. Too funny. Yeah, mm -mm. yeah. We don't have that. Oh, snap. Did I switch it too soon? Uh -oh. You know, Did I switch Maybe, it too yeah, soon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. We're going to fix that real quick. Three, two, one. All right, let's get into it. I'm somewhere, but I'm not in my bed in December. And from the moment I wake up, brunch! Yes! <laughs> Brunch, brunch, brunch! Then brunch turns into a boozy lunch. Okay. Then you hit a day vibe, like a day party, but my chillas, if it's not a bride, then you hit like a day party. Drink in hand, woman next to me, bikini in sight. Champagne, yeah, champagne there. This is Puzamanzi. <laughs> then champagne again. Yo, 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 yo. December and morals. Come again. What is that? Yes, I don't think those two words are life no going morals. sentence together. Morals. Out the window. Ah, hey. uh, December and morals. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What are morals in December? What morals? Excuse uh -oh. morals? Uh -oh. Me? Us? No, no. You can't even put those two together. Hmm. December relationships are a scam. What relationship? Golly. I such a trick. You see, when you close work for the holidays, the relationships they also close. Wait, yo, yo, wait. I just, it just came out and I heard he said, Whoa, that's crazy. Why, why a br okay, first of all, I remember, uh, was it Valentine's Day or do y'all call it something else? Mandy call it something else. I don't know, y'all let us know, but we were talking about something and someone said in the comment section, That's when you take a break in your relationship because nobody got time for to be buying gifts and all that. <laughs> Man, December's oh, a beast. Oh, my god, 
Now y'all be warned. You was you was warned. Yes. The beast out there. Y'all said that it's scary dating in the United States. No, it's scary dating there. Because <laughs> why we gotta take a break for a holiday? <laughs> Yo. Now we're gonna go into the next one, you guys. You know, back like in like uh, you know kings and queens back in the day, there's these guys that wear clown suits and dance for the queen and king. That's the ice boy. What is it that makes the ultimate squad goals? Ah. In the South African context, that matters. There are friends you look at and you're like, this squad, they probably have a scale and you must walk or look a certain way because they just look all a certain way. My squad goals is us understanding our finances. If people understand like each it. other financially, I think that's like the big foundation. Yeah. The cars we drive, oh. the German, you know? Um, squad goals, is you know sort of our brackets man you know they're by sales those brackets you those are yeah, squad goals brackets, how do you do with the bill policy in your squad oh, man, we got so many it. different cultures out here when it comes to squad goals yeah, like yeah. we got the car culture mm -hmm. we got the skate ring culture we got the trail ride culture we got yeah, just yeah. the uh, social media culture yeah, bro it's yeah. like squad goals is crazy out here you guys it got so many different hype moments out here it's like y'all have some like, so you think you. here we mainly have people who have the same interests together yeah definitely okay. that's what it is like a, it's like in school and we speak, uh, speak about this all the time you got your people that's in science heaven mm -hmm. you got people that's in you know we call them nerds but they're really not they're just smart in their own intellectual way yeah. and you got your people that's in sports you got yeah. the jocks right and then you got your cheerleader squad the girls who just you know makeup done they killing their hair fly blah, 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 blah. yeah i think school made us that way you think so yeah because i think about when i went to college like it was what I spent most of my time on. Right, That's right. who were my friends. But as an adult, like, I have friends in different industries. Facts, you know, facts, and I facts, still facts. have my childhood friends or my college friends. Mm -hmm. And it's just based on that. But the friends that I just don't interact with, <clears throat> well, they're not friends, but people I just don't interact with is people who just don't have nothing going for themselves. Like, right. I don't want to have that transferred to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, that, the, I need somebody to The truth to is in that. No, no, no. The truth is in that. If you have a, if you have a, a um, <clears throat> a closet full of fur coats, mm -hmm. you're gonna buy another one. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But if you got a closet full of leather coats, I mean, for the leather jackets, you're gonna buy more leather jackets. Mm -hmm. It's the taste of it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So sometimes we don't realize what we're surrounded by until we step away from it and see. Right. Golly, all I've been wearing is black this whole time. Yeah. All I've been wearing is leather this not whole time. Not growing. No growth at that's all. Like, nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's just a realization that's for some people. And when they pick up on it, they want to see different. Mm -hmm. They want to see change. So that's, that's a and good way then, to think about it. Yeah, and that's when you get demoted. <laughs> you know, if you a person who just always have something negative to say. Can't go off of that. get demoted. What we Everybody gonna do is that? not best friend. Mm -hmm. Do y'all do that? Or is your whole squad your best friends? That's hey, we just dropped some gems. Pick it up. <laughs> Oh, calculators out. Everybody is going to calculate what is going on. We are all mathematicians now. Do you get the question? You know, the no, I didn't get it. Brackets. You do all that squad goals. How do you deal with the bill policy in your squad? Oh, oh calculators I don't like out. That. Everybody is going to calculate what is going on. We are all mathematicians now. You know, the slip is getting passed around. We're taking the system out if you can. But we are all going to calculate who drank what. Whoever oh. invited must pay. Sometimes, guys, you eat according to your pocket, eh? I hate those kind of people that go, we're splitting the bill. I'm like, uh-uh. <laughs> I have orange juice and a pie. You had oysters, champagne. No, next thing, jiggy jiggy, you have to split the bill. Go back. No. Or they caviar. No way. Nobody's subsidizing this. No. Who's that friend you have to hate? Oh, you see, uh-uh. See, that depends on, like, the event. Let's say if we at a dinner party, who's splitting what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't even know you. Oh, you man. You for the birthday girl, birthday boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm buying my stuff. Mm, I got you <laughs> once. I got you twice. You know, we hang together, we squad. You know, we, we we know our own situations, but, you know, we in each other's business as well. Mm -hmm. But there's so many times, it's like, I'm about to get this plate, bro. I'm about to kill it myself. <laughs> I can't keep doing it. Like, when you gonna show up? Yeah, but, like, for... When I'm eating out with a friend or something, I always, I don't know why, I've always been this way. I've all, I always offer to cover the whole bill. Why, Sierra? Why, girl? You know what that is, though, see? Um, what? 
our generosity can be our downfall sometimes. Yes. And we don't even realize it. And we're battling ourselves. Mm -hmm. And what ended up happening is, like, you know you can do for this person, but there's only so many transactions you can make. Right. Like, you know you what I'm saying? Off. It's like, because now you're bumping your head, and there's a repeated <laughs> cycle, and it's not being reciprocated back. Yeah. So it's like, yeah. yeah the, the generosity thing is a great thing. It's a blessing, but at the yeah. same time, it could be a downfall. Yeah, but I do have good friends. Like, you know, I may offer, and they be like, no. And if I do pay for the bill, they'll uh, pay for the tip. With, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I ain't doing no $2 tip, okay? Because mm -hmm. you I know we're in America. And our servers and waitresses and, you know, those people, they only make a certain amount and they live off their tips. So you better give a good tip. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Right. <laughs> One who can walk up to anybody in the room, whether it's your enemy or someone you like, who can say, do you see, my friend? There. She's hot, ne? She wants you, I think. You're thinking... Why did you tell that guy that? The judging friend. We love to hate the friend who has something to say about everybody else. A lot of the time they write. A lot of the time they brutal. What are the traits of Moreki versus Ice Boy? Traits of Moreki versus Ice Boy. Moreki. So what is so did we get that phrase from y'all yet or not? Nah? No. This is our first time hearing this one. Nah, they teaching us something new. Okay, let's get it. We love Moreki, yeah. Moreki doesn't say much about how much he has. The black card on the table. <laughs> the wait. Louis Vuitton wallet and the Mercedes Benz key. Hi, oh, Ice Boy. Ice Boys are actually very fundamental to uh, house parties. The Ice Boy <laughs> is the friend who everyone sends around. Like, go get this, go get that. Go th because of the economic uh, situation. You can oh. tell a guy is an ice boy by agreeing to everything that Murek is saying. You have to anticipate when the ice is finishing. Even if you're away dancing somewhere, you must just know, like your spider senses are tingling, the ice is finishing. I must the return to the table. Finishing. Let's get into South African weddings. What um, makes uh, South African weddings unique? The noise. Oh, I love that. First thing is first, the whole hood is invited. There's no invite system. The weddings are, don't have venues. The street is closed, the, the tent is blocking the whole street. There are more people than the tent can accommodate. Obviously, seven colors, you know? Oh, it's not yeah, even seven, seven colors. colors, it's 14. You can run out of oh. your greens and your salads, we don't care about those. Don't run out of meat and booze. Yeah. Because in the in the black community, your wedding was a success if... So, do you think the guests should pay for their own drinks at a wedding? I saw the... Oh, never. Who's, who's getting married? Me or you? Who's getting entertained? Me or you? I came to see your union and I must pay for my drink? And see, that's why we didn't have a wedding. But we had that. We had, listen, y'all, we literally had the whole bar paid off. Paid Everybody was going to be like killing it. You know what I'm saying? The venue, everything was bought, the building. We had everything situated. So, yeah, we did not say so for a second, like, Oh, they gotta bring their own drinks. No, 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 no. Okay, so if you don't know, quick backstory. Okay, so we just celebrated our 10 year anniversary. If you did not know, if you did not congratulate toast, the toast, family yet, toast, toast, thank, thank you. Thank y'all. Thank you. 10 years is an accomplishment, y'all. Yeah. We are very happy of that. What? 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 What's wrong with you? I'm trying to talk about water going in my mouth. <laughs> don't do that. And they say it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, my no, bad. My no. bad. Nah, no, we good. Let's roll. Okay. 10 years okay. is an accomplishment. That is an accomplishment, okay? A lot. I ain't gonna go into that backstory. But, okay, backstory. We paid for our entire wedding. I'm talking about venue. I'm talking about wedding dress. I'm talking about bridesmaids and groomsmen already got size and this and that, this and that. Um, We paid for the tab of the alcohol. Do I need to remind y'all that I don't drink? We paid for the tab of the alcohol so the people could have an open bar all night. Get as many as you want. Buy it up. Okay, buy it up to cancel our wedding. We yeah. canceled it. Yeah. All right. So this was one of the things. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was. I, hey, look. I was. I was waiting for a deep story too, Jesse. No, I just wanted a little because quick I know. story. Yeah, yeah. A quick story. Uh -huh. a quick story. I think y'all got the gist of what happened. You know, we was paying what? for the people. Definitely. Am I paying to come and watch you be happy? No. You know, something <laughs> about. A black South African wedding about the bar that's tricky. It's not a bar. It's a trailer with a lock on it, and someone has got the damn key. <laughs> Can you please find a different solution that's for funny. the alcohol situations no. in black gatherings, please? Weddings to impose your own kingdom. What Yo. should we leave behind at a South African wedding? Yo. Mm. 
Mm. Let's just change the way Sishaya eat deco. And some people f it up. Eat drapes. <laughs> Leave the draping. <laughs> no more like, drapes. Because you always feel like you're in a coffin. <laughs> we need to chill with the China Mall products, please. Actually, the chair covers. E the chair, chair covers. Chair covers. Jesu. There's Tiffany chairs now. Come on, don't be covering. <laughs> now it looks so. No, no, no. Uh -oh. Looks like my grandma's decorated toilet. Apologize as a black parent without saying sorry. I haven't experienced an, a, a black apology. I don't even remember an apology. Don't even remember an apology. Ah, uh, why are you you're so angry? You're so angry now. <laughs> uh, it's over now. Come yeah, on. Yeah, stop yeah, yeah. I'm your only mother. There is no other mother. Uh oh. That you will get. That's an apology. Oh. Oh. I am your first love. <laughs> and I did this because I love you. Oh, true me. That time you're bruised. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure, guys. What would your parents do to show Whoa, whoa, whoa. Apologize as a black parent without apologizing. Yeah. Man. I got one. What you got? You go first. Okay. Uh, why, uh, I don't know, saying a whole bunch of stuff to the child or whatnot because they did something wrong and they were smarter than that, you would have thought they would have did it right the first time, and then you'd be like, now pick them groceries up and bring it in the house. <laughs> I don't I, know. That's not, that's think, not like an apology. Yeah, I think us new age parents, we actually say I apologize now. Mm. But one that I remember growing up, you want some food? You want to go get some, some McDonald's? No, <laughs> um, that's the one. That's the one. They'll send that you to your room. Apology. Ooh, Lord. Not send you, baby. You got yeah. whipped to your room. Right. All of that, right? So after you get in your room and you're settled and whatnot, then you, you hear the footsteps coming in. You know what I'm saying? And they poke the head in. Want to come right? Right. Wait, I'm still wiping the tear off, sir. <laughs> Let me get my thoughts together first. Oh, the trauma. <laughs> I don't know. What's a black apology? Y'all like, we already have those. Yeah. We already got, I know we got more than that. Y'all let us know. Come on, come on, Americans. Come yeah, on. Yeah, facts. <laughs> but they're really sorry. Black parents would rather allow you to use the home phone for an hour at night then oh, apologize. You know when yeah, your yeah. parent is managing, you're not allowed to go with them anyway. So come into your room somewhere and they'll ask you, do you want to come with me to the shops? And you go, <laughs> okay. They'd rather let you do what you want, like, you know, go out. Uh, they'd rather let you drink in front of them. They'd rather let you, you know, not do your chores. Rather than just accept horror, I was sorry. They would just sit there and allow you. Oh, they will let you change generations. Oh, <laughs> uh, bro, I think in general, the parent, instantly wants to be more involved after the initiative. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? After they did what they did. That makes them feel better. That makes them feel better, yeah. You know, I think we talk a lot about... <clears throat> about our upbringings. But I feel like our parents raised us for a time that they knew. I think that needed to be expressed. Yeah. That needed to be said for the people in the back. And some grace. Mm -hmm. The less trauma-filled childhoods. Mm -hmm. Some grace. But the ones who was just overtly abusive... I ain't got no words for that. Oh, that's that that's that uh Michael Jackson at the A B C oh. Go get that switch off the tree. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> what did I do? What did I do? You know right. what I'm saying? But yeah, that's saying it. like that. But I say that to say I know here in America, a lot of us, like a lot of our peers, we're more in tune with our parenting. And not saying that they weren't. It's just they they parented us for a different time period. Mm -hmm. Like now we have this what gentle parenting. We, right. we have. I feel like we are more. I don't softer than the past generations. We are. Yeah. And some yeah, of us I can agree fault. with that. I can agree with that. Us millennials. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. we 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 remember how we were as parent uh, children. Mm -hmm. How we felt. What we thought our parents did wrong, and we wanted to change that. You know? Yeah. But yeah. I say that because I know the landscape here. But what about y'all in South Africa and other places who are tuned in? Yeah, yeah. Facts, How facts, are y'all feeling as parents of your generation? And I'm talking about millennials. Let's get it. Gen Z don't have babies yet, do they? Yeah, Gen yeah. Z too. Gen, Gen Z, Z too. Yeah. The older Gen Z. Okay. Yeah, the older. The older yeah, right Gen there. Z's. Uh, yeah. Okay. Bump like 19, what? 1997? Maybe. Some of them have children. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody in the Let's comment section, ASAP, front and center. <laughs> we need to hear these storylines. Yes. All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.